Good evening and welcome to our night prayer. We gather with the one who calls us, who has chosen us, who knows us. So let's again take a moment or two, recognising that God delights in our presence now. Jesus said, all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. What a promise. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we bring this day all that it's been, and maybe other things that we've remembered through this day, to God now. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. God is the God of comfort, but sometimes we suffer, and we, it seems that comfort is far away. There's a verse in Romans 8, which I found challenging, but is one for us to hold on to as well. Romans 8 verse 18, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. I consider that our present sufferings aren't worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. As we read the Acts and read of others who have suffered for their faith, we can be challenged about what this is all about. None of us wants to say, yes, I want to suffer. But at the same time, when we do, we're to look and hold on to how much more God has for us. That we don't see in this world, in this life, but we have the promise of in the future. Yes, times can be really tough. And if you're going through a hard time at the moment, words aren't necessarily easy to hear. But hold on. Hold on to the reality that God loves you. That God is with you in your suffering. And that this present suffering is incomparable with what the future holds when we are with God united fully with him. Let's pray. Loving God, you know that suffering is hard, that we find pain difficult, that these things challenge our faith. But hold us close to you and help us to hold on to you through hard times. If we're in pain at the moment, may your power flow to heal, but also to remind us that there is so much more that will follow of good in the glory that is promised. Amen. And we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. 
and now. May each night of sleep renew your energy. May each day of work renew your purpose. May each person you meet renew your love. And may you feel the blessing of God through each night and through each day. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>